Hello everyone, and today I will be reading Give Me Path by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by G. Brian Harris, and this is what they wrote so you can get a little point. How do you share a pizza? You split it in half. Read along as a brother and sister share a yummy lunch and learn about the simplest fraction. Using fractions can be messier than you think. Let's get started. Give me half. I have one pizza and it's all for me. I'm going to get some pizza. Just what you wait and see. I know you want some pizza, sis. You only get one slice. You better give me more than that. Why can't you be nice? You have to share the pizza. It must be split in two. The pizza should be cut the same for each of you. One half pizza and one half pizza make one whole pizza. What is that behind her back? The last can of juice, I think. If he takes some juice from me, I won't have much to drink. I gave you one half of mine, so you must share yours too. I'll give you just a sip, but not until I'm through. Split the juice in half. Again, you have to share. And when you pour it out, make sure that you pour fair. One half can of juice and one half can of juice make one whole can of juice. Now she has some cupcakes. I saw her with the pack. I'm going to hide my cupcakes and snape them for a snack. You, well, hey, what's that on your chair? You better give me some. I'm going to eat them both myself and leave you just a crumb. Your cupcakes must be shared. And do I need repeat? You both get half the pack and don't you dare to cheat. One cupcake and one cupcake makes two, a pack of two cupcakes. I have a stack of cookies, and you just get one bite. You better give me half that stack, or else I start a fight. Hey, wait! Too late! There are cookies on the floor. There's pizza everywhere. There's juice spilled on the table and sticky stuff under my chair. We're going to be in trouble. We've made a great big mess, but I have made no more than you, and you have made no less. We better each clean half. There's so much work to do. We'll be done in half the time. If Buddy helps us too. So now it is for adults and kids on this page. I'm going to read it for you. If you would like to have fun with math concepts presented and give me half, there are a few suggestions. Read the story with the child and describe what is going on in each picture. Ask questions throughout the story, such as what happens when you share one whole pizza with another person? How much pizza will you get? How should the pizza cut if it is to be shared fairly? Encourage the child to tell the story using math vocabulary. Half, whole, share, et. C. Introduce the wor word divide by saying that each item is divided equally. Gather pieces of paper in variety sizes and shapes and work together to find different ways to fold the pieces in half. Together, draw some pizzas, cups of juice, 
cupcakes and cookies, or draw your family meal or an imaginary picnic, then cut or make lines on the drawings to show how they should be divided with sharing with another person. Look at things in the real world. Whole items such as pies, tables, rooms, liquids such as milk, water, and groups of things such as grapes, candy, pillows, and ask how they can be divided in half. Draw pictures of these halves. Following some activities that will help you extend the concept persistent and give me half into a child's everyday life. Cooking. And then. Identify halves in a recipe. One half of one cup or one stick butter half of fruits and vegetables. Etc. Slice food items of varying shapes into halves and then share them. Nature. Collect a lot of different leaves and use a marker to show how they divide in half. Games. Find things around the house that demonstrate halves. Two small shoes that together are about the same length as one long shoe. Shirts and pants that can be folded in half. Etc. The following stories include some of the same concepts that are presented in Give Me Half. The doorbell rang by Pat Hutchins. Gator pie by Louis Matthews. The half birthday party by Charlotte Comantes. Bye. Hope you liked my Give Me Half book.